streamlined process for entering orders can be an essential part of your business from a customer service and a cost management perspective. In this video, you will see how order entry is designed for efficient data entry while also providing helpful lookups in key areas that put the information your order desk staff need at their fingertips. The order entry screen is designed with four tabs for optimum organization of all the information that could be associated with an order. Clicking on the pound sign begins the entry of a new order with an automatic increment of the order number. Note that the copy from button is enabled, allowing me to easily copy an existing similar order and then modify it for the current need. I can also call up an existing master or repeating order to ship from. For ease in finding customer accounts, I can choose to search by any field in the customer master file. Here, I am looking up customers by phone number. I'll select my customer, enter my customer purchase order number, and quickly enter through a field I don't need to edit. The order status and reason code provide powerful tools that can help track why orders are on hold. You can even elect to require a reason code such as those displayed here while deleting lines from orders. Unlimited ship to addresses can be set up for a customer and are selected using the lookup here. Each address can be associated with a warehouse code so that orders for East Coast locations can be shipped from East Coast warehouses, for example. We'll skip the addresses tab since we've selected our ship to location and have no changes to the bill to address and move to the lines tab where the items are ordered. To facilitate the easy selection of items, several lookups are available. The standard item search, alias item lookup in which you can search by the customer's part number, kit item search, and the customer last purchase history search. This is especially useful if a customer wants to order the same item as last time, but can't remember the item number. Pressing Alt-S also calls up the list for speedy entry. Once the item is selected, I can enter or tab through the fields and put in my quantity. Notice I have options to modify tax, commission, and discount status. I can even optionally display the gross profit margin at the bottom of the screen if my sales staff customarily negotiates discounts when taking orders. I will continue through the fields to the OK button and add another item, selecting it this time from the standard item list. Notice the layout of the screen. The line items are displayed in grid format below for ease in searching for lines when editing. However, there are too many fields associated with each line to make it practical to edit information in the grid. So the area above the grid contains all the information for a line. When a line is highlighted in the grid, the information for the line is displayed in the panel above. The entry screen thus remains uncluttered while still providing quick access to the lines for editing or entering quantities and shipping. And if I select the drill down button while an item is highlighted, I automatically go to Inventory Inquiry for that item, where I can see virtually everything about that item. For example, I can select Price Lookup, choose my customer, view the pricing grid, enter a quantity, and give a price quote for quantity break discounts. Closing the drill down window takes me right back to my order. The Totals page provides all the flexibility you need in reviewing and modifying discounts, commissions, and sales tax, and provides for a deposit or prepayment to be made on the order via credit card or other prepayment method. When the credit card processing module is implemented, you can even automatically request an authorization code for the purchase, which will then be added to the sales order record. You've just seen how sales order entry is organized for quick entry while putting essential information at your fingertips.